Here with senior offensive lineman Chris Zirkle. The Demons coming off a 31-28 win against Sam Houston State. A quick turnaround before senior night. Before we get to the waterworks and the emotions, Chris, let's talk about uh, Saturday, especially as an offensive lineman. You get the ball back up three, 526 to go. Is that about as perfect an opportunity for an offensive lineman as there is in terms of running out the clock? Oh, 100 percent. You can't ask for anything better, you know. <clears throat> you know, the defense played really well. They gave us the opportunity to you know, run the clock out, and they did. Um, it's what we really practice, you know, and we really haven't had that drive where we got to prove ourselves this whole year. And honestly, it was perfect to get it on the road at Sam Houston, which we haven't beaten in five years or something like that. You guys, uh, especially the seniors up front, uh, Jonathan Hubbard, yourself, Tyler Rapp, Dustin Burns, you're all Texas guys. Mm -hmm. uh, means a little bit more, I guess? Oh, 100%. You know, it's nice winning back in our home state, you know, representing Louisiana, but also going back home. You know, we're all, you, just like you said, all those guys aren't really, like, we're not very far from uh, Sam Houston, so that was pretty nice. I know all of our families were there, so that was really nice. We'll go into a little bit more of that senior talk in a moment, but just the, the emotions of getting that win, of coming back, being down so early, is that a bit of a microcos microcosm of what this season has been? Uh, 100%, honestly. Uh, you know, we've had our ups and downs, but, uh, you know, we finally, Coach Laird said, we're going to keep fighting, we're going to keep pushing, and it, it's going to pay off, you know, and he was right. It, it paid off. We beat, I guess, I, I guess the number one team in the conference at that time. And, uh, you know, it was just showed that it was really team win, big team win. For you guys, the seniors, you'll play your last, uh, your last game here in about 72 hours or so. At this point, looking ahead, where are you mentally? Does it feel any different knowing it's the last game of the season and, and maybe the last game of your career? You know, honestly, I don't think it's really hit me yet. It's still kind of like, wow, you know. And I don't think my mind's not on there yet. My mind's to bring Chief Cattle back. That's the big, that's the big worry right now. Uh, but yeah, just like I said, it hasn't really hit me yet. So, you know, really it's just got to focus on practicing and Stephen F. Austin right now. When you have the Chief, and you guys have had him, you've gotten to know him, I'm sure you've maybe had a couple conversations with him, but you, you've walked in for the last two years and he's been standing there in the field house. I know you don't want to let him go, especially the offensive line seems to have maybe more of a relationship with him than anybody. Oh, yeah, 100%. He, he keeps saying, guys, we want to see you after the game. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, I know Chief Cato and I, you know, we go we go back, you know, since freshman year, you know, we've had him, then we lost him, and then we've maintained him. And uh, we know he's, he's going he's gonna to be with us. We know we're going we're gonna to win him back and, you know, might have a couple more conversations later. When you have something, certainly the largest trophy in college football to play for, does it help maybe calm some of those emotions of senior night? Uh, I'll answer that after we have the chief, you know, really, it's really, it's just a win. You know, really it's, that's the main goal is to win right now. It'd be nice to send all 22 of us seniors out, but, uh, and, and on that note, especially carried in for the demons next season, you know, win three out of the last four or four out of the last five, that would be really big. So for you guys as seniors, let's kind of turn back the clock five years, four and a half years ago, I guess you walk in here and. Uh, I think Jared West sent out a tweet last week, I think, that said, you know, it's hard to believe we've only got at that point 10 days of football left. Mm -hmm. You said it hasn't hit you, but when you look back, what are some things that really stick out about your time here? Things that really stick out, uh, the people. That's, that's the first thing. That's what brought me here, and that's what kept me here. You know, the people, really, the, just everyone here in Natchitoches. I really love the people here in Natchitoches. Uh, the tradition, just a bunch of the alumni meeting, meeting as I've gotten older, meet more of the alumni, so that was really cool. Um, honestly, and also the upgrades we've done here, you know, we didn't have that scoreboard over here. We didn't have those chairs over there. It makes me feel really old, but like just the upgrades they've done here and just really what sticks with me the most are just the people. For you guys, when, when you kind of get inside that 22 guy unit, the, the guys who will play for the final time Thursday night, what have those conversations been like this week? What will you miss the most about those guys, about the, I'm sure the camaraderie, the, the brotherhood, especially we've talked so many times about offensive line culture, mm -hmm. but I'm sure it goes way past that with this group. Oh, 100%. Uh, I would like to believe that usually, you know, the senior classes in the past, they've only been like a handful. Now it's two handful, if more, we have 22. And I think, I don't know what the number is. I know it's 10 plus easy that we're here since we've like, since freshman year, since 2015 summer. So that's, you know, we've had bonds like Nick Ford, Ryan Reed, Parker Pastorello, all those guys, Jared West, just not even all offensive linemen. You know, we've all, we've literally grown up from freshmen to fifth year seniors now. So it's really special. Pick out, a, we talked about the, the reasons and the people. 
a couple of moments that stick out from, from your time here, uh, just football related. Football related? Huh. Um, definitely beat McNeese last year. That hasn't been done in, I don't know, a while. Definitely Sam Houston last week because I think it's been since 2005 since we beat them there. So that's really big to go out on. Um, ooh, off the top of my head. Definitely SFA. That's a big one. Just, you know, keeping the chief. Uh, and really, honestly, though, is I can feel a change. I know the season hasn't really gone the way we wanted it to be, but I can feel like the senior class has made an impact on like the change that Coach Laird wanted to make when he first got the job. So that's something that the seniors would like take a pride on. You know, we, we flipped that switch, I guess you could say. So hopefully they take that in the future and win the conference next year and things like that. I think those of us who were with you in Houston, and, and it's odd that we have you and Nick here, it's kind of full circle for the oh, season. Yeah. Can you break out one last Coach Laird impression? <laughs> I know you don't have the glasses <laughs> with you, but. Uh... <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Um, Men, hey, we battled, we fought, we finally pushed through. We're going to go home victory. We're going to celebrate. Fork them. Chris, thank you so much. Appreciate everything, Jason.